Hey guys, it's Melissa again, and I have a Sephora haul that I did when I, when, let me see, what am I going to say? This is my Sephora haul for the meet and greet. Okay, so if you didn't know, um, on the 23rd, I had a meet and greet in Nashville. Thank you so much to everybody that came out. I'm trying, trying to get some pictures and videos together to do a video on that. Uh, but yeah, it was so fun because we met, we took pictures and all that, and then we got kicked out by the security guard because he said I didn't call, but yes, I did call. You just didn't take me seriously, and you never called me back. So then all of us girls went into Sephora, and it was so fun because some of the girls had to leave. Some of them was was some of them were able to shop with me. So we just went swatching and everything like that. It was so fun. So this are the things that I purchased. And then um, while I was in Nashville, I purchased something else. And then a uh, hot look and then something else at the end. Okay, this first thing is because one of my subscribers, she was so sweet. Uh, if I remember correctly, her name was jo Joanna. Jonah, Jonah, Joanna. You know who you are. Every one of you guys, you know, I will never forget your faces, okay? I'm like, forget your name or mess it up or something like that, but I will never forget your sweet faces. Okay, so she came up to me and she was asking while we were in Sephora. She said, I have a problem with uh, mascara smudging on the lower lash line. She said, even when I have um, waterproof mascara, it still smudges. And I was like, me too, girl. I have been having that same problem, seriously, because sometimes, a lot of times I don't set my under eye concealer because it dries out my under eyes. So I've been battling this too. So we were over there by Clinique and I said, you know what? I heard that the bottom lash mascara long wearing formula um, was really good for that. And then she said, uh, but look at the brush, it's so tiny. I said, I know, and that's why I hadn't purchased it yet. And I said, okay, if you buy it, I'll buy it, okay? <laughs> but um, this is what it looks like. The brush is so tiny. So I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh. And by the way, I am uploading Sunday a new tag. It's called a $10 full face makeup challenge tag. And uh, this is my $10 full face makeup challenge tag. Uh, makeup. So, watch Sunday to see what I'm wearing. $10 full face. Okay. So, yeah. I'm excited to try that. And then next, uh, Melissa from 30 Plus Some and Christy from I Did My Face. They were there and it was so awesome to meet them girls. Um, but 30 Plus Some, I'll link... Uh, her and Christy's channel down below. Uh, 30 Plus Some always talks about this Clinique uh, single eye shadow in Daybreak. It's like a uh, frosty champagne with a little bit of pink in it. Oh my god, look how beautiful metallic that is. It is so pretty. So I said, okay, I've heard her talk about this and I will definitely pick it up. So I'm so excited. This one's in Daybreak to... Uh, play with that so pretty and then girlfriends I had I went over there because I think Christy from I did my face she said something about the Rocketeer and I told her I don't know if that'll look good on my skin tone you know but I went over there I picked it up anyways I know so you guys probably know uh the first I've tried it once the first layer is uh has some shimmer in it it's very natural but then after that there's no shimmer I heard um but we will see how it goes. Very natural, you see. But, yeah. Love the smell. Uh, it's really pretty, girls. It's a really pretty. Put it on. Put it over my uh, $10 face. Okay, I know I'm up close, but I want the swatches to be able to be seen. And then, I needed another uh, brow gel from Anastasia. But I saw this in the line that had tweezers, a little mini uh, pencil, eyebrow pencil, which this is my shade, and then the brow gel. It's a little bit smaller, but they had that. I think it was 15, maybe less than that. So I'll pick this up instead of the full size because I'm not completely out, and I wanted to uh, I just 
like this little combo. So I got that. And then I got another Urban Decay Revolution lipstick. This one's in Obsessed. And what color you think it is, girls? Just guess. What color you think it is? It's a part of pink. <laughs> it's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. Let me put it on. Let's see. Yeah, the foundation that, I, that I'm wearing uh, isn't very much coverage, but beautiful. Love it. Okay, and then I've heard some great things about Soap and Glory's uh, lip balms. So I got this one. This one is a great kisser. This one uh, is Whirly Girl, and it smells so good. It's just a white. It smells like sweet candy canes. Oh, and it feels so good on the lips. So, I'm already enjoying that. I've used it like twice. And you know what? It looks like it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm just going to use this before bed. See how I like it. Mmm, tastes like sweet candy cane, girl. Yes. Does that lipstick make my teeth look yellow? Hmm, I hope not. Okay, I've heard so many things about NARS's lip lacquer and Chelsea's Girl. So, I picked it up. It's a beautiful nude. Let's put it on. It is very tacky, but that means it will last. And I usually don't like lip products, lipsticks, and pots like this just because they're messy. And when I'm out and about, you know. But it's a beautiful nude, isn't it? Very tacky, though. Okay, let me put my... Uh, my $10 face challenge lipstick back on. Y'all gonna have to wait for the video. See what it is. Okay, and then I wasn't gonna pick this up. I've seen it in reviews and online. I picked up the NARS Bourdain. What is this? Guy Bourdain palette. I have the one from last year. And uh, I wasn't gonna pick it up because the swatches and the colors online look so dark. These look super dark, but they're not. When I saw it in person, beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I just love it. I love everything about it. And this highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. There's no glitter in it, which I love. And that'd be a pretty eyeshadow. So I picked that up while I was there in Nashville. And then I picked up four um, dang brushes. I've always wanted to try Bobbi Brown brushes. So I got the Bobbi Brown blush brush. It's, uh, it's kind of like tight right here, tapered, you know. I don't know. I think it's going to be really nice to apply blush. I also have heard plenty about the Bobbi Brown bronzer blood brush. It's a shorter handle. I've already used it, and I absolutely love it, girls. And then Nikki Roth. I think that's her channel here. She was talking about the Sephora Mineral Powder uh, Brush number 45, and she used it for foundation. I've already used it once, and I like it. Um, I like it, but I have to be honest. I feel like it's so similar to the Samantha Chapman buffing brush so um i don't know it this one's a little bit softer not as dense but they perform so similarly i might return it so i don't know but it was nice okay and then there was this store called okay my eyebrows are so frosty because when i was doing that challenge it was kind of like a first impression and i didn't know this color was going to be so frosty Okay, so then there was a store in Nashville called Cosmetic Company or Cosmetic Something. I don't know. I've never seen one. Well, they had the NARS uh, Contour Brush. Oh, my gosh. This one's so nice. I have the Sonia Kashuk one, but it's super short and really dense, and it applies products super strongly. I don't know. And um, 
you know, it was just a little bit too much. So this one's fluffy and oh my goodness, I love it for contouring. It doesn't put too much product on there. It puts just the right amount. You do it. And then I love to flick it up, you know, to blend it out. Oh, I love this. It's really lightweight though. I was kind of surprised, but I love this brush. Okay. And then at that cosmetic company thing, they were having half off of a few cargo products. So I picked up this blush in Mendo Mendokin. Mendokin. I don't know. Mendo Mendocino. Mendocino. I don't know. It's just uh this beautiful rosy plum color, I guess. Isn't that pretty? Girl, you talk about butter. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of peach in it too. I don't know. It looks different, doesn't it? But it's really pretty. I'm excited. I got it for half off. So yeah, and then on hot look, I uh, picked up, they had Torina Tarantino. I love Torina Tarantino products, but they're not in Sephora anymore. Well, my friend Emily from Lisette's Beauty, a long time ago, um, got this lipstick conditioning lip sheen and candy jar and she was telling me oh my god so beautiful now this is kind of sheer but it's just a pint girl you know how I am it's kind of sheer I'm not crazy about sheer formulas but this one feels so moisturizing it's so pretty so that's candy jar yeah love that and then I got the jewel shadow palette and delightful so pretty it's just some neutrals i love the packaging <laughs> and it's just neutrals it's just beautiful there's a pinky color here champagne color a matte brown taupe just gorgeous colors i love his eyeshadows or her eyeshadows and then i have always regretted not picking up the doll skin cheek palette when Torina Tarantino was in Sephora. Um, so I got that because it was like half off on hot look. So it comes in this beautiful package and it has four blushes and they are so pretty. Oh, let me swatch them real quick. Oh yeah, they're so pretty and I love them. And then on Glint and Glint, Glint and Gleam, I purchased, this is Whenever you see down, you know, I always put what I'm wearing down in the down bar. Whenever you see shop lately, it's always pretty much glint and gleam uh, jewelry. Um, I'll leave the link down below. This one in, they have awesome stuff, y'all, 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 y'all. All my jewelry pretty much comes from there nowadays. This one's the Sunburst Princess Necklace in navy and coral. I just thought it was so pretty with the blue and the coral and the green sage. I thought it looked like fall, doesn't it? So I love this. And yes, I purchased it with my own money. But I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Um, they're amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to try this. I also ordered something else and it's not here yet. So I'll show you guys that later. But I think that's everything that I purchased on my meet and greet, hot look, and uh, shop lately. So, I love you guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Everything I'm wearing will be down there. Okay, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Ooh, I want to talk some more, but I don't need to because this is long enough. Okay.